Hello everyone. It's been a hot minute since I made a video. I've been a busy bee at work instead of a busy bee crafter. So I finally got to join a swap and this one is uh, the reveal for uh, Vagabond Crafters Halloween uh, swap. So I can get it in frame here. And if you see the table jiggled, my cat was just up here and she keeps, you know, she's got to be all up in my business. Um, for this uh, swap, we had to do um, three items, and they had to have, I'm sorry, um, three swaps. So turn three in and get three back. I'm going to adjust my camera just a little bit here, guys. There you go, that's a little better. Anyway, you, so you send three in, get three back. I made four to give Nicole one. And I made this with the new collection from Prima. Miss Luna over here. I just love all this pinkness. Do a quick little flip through here. I did buy all the sizes in it, so the paper kind of stuck with this one if I could, or the 8x8. Eight eight. I didn't use too many of the 12x12s 12 unless I cut something out, like fussy cut it. So let's get this done before my cat interrupts me or one of my boys walk by. So this is what it looks like all packaged up. I did a dangle over here that says, hey boo, a jingle bell, some beads. This is the seam binding from, um, it's the first time I've ordered it and it's the cabin place that everybody else gets theirs from. I got my mom interested in um, crafting so she bought it all and I borrowed it from her. So. This pouch is from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna, excuse me, just a minute here. I'm gonna sit down and stand it up so I can see if I was in frame. So this was from the Dollar Tree and I just um, glued the paper over the top. This is what it looked like beforehand. There's the tag. So I just covered this part up and used it. All right, well, let's get going on what's inside. So I put everything on a ring bind, on the ring here. And then this is like the bits and bobs. Put everything in there. I won't be taking that apart because it's taped. I didn't really like this, but I'm running out of time and I gotta get it out the door because I have a lot going on this weekend. All right, let me check this again because it's really crooked. There we go. All right, for this, for, and there's a few of the, I already have them packaged too, but there's a couple of these I made extra, so I have them um, outside of the pack. So this first one on top here is uh, witch hat and witch boots from uh, Tim Holtz dies, and I just put a piece of uh, cardstock in the middle and I wrap my uh, ribbon around there. I do have one of these out of the pack. So this one, I just put uh, stick pins in the back. So cute. I had to make myself one. And for the packaging, well, here in the front, too, I wanted to use the acetate, so that's a pumpkin from the paper. And then I put these, um, I got a bunch of ribbon from Hobby Lobby, and I just cut it up to get these little things. So, and then I can't really see in the packaging here these ear, uh, holographic uh, webs. Those are from Tim Holtz. And then I have a sequins mix I made and put in there. So that's the first one. The second one over here. Get a better grip on this, sorry. The second one over here is my ATC card. I made four little different ones. Put my info on the back. Next one is my shaker. It's the cauldron from KS Crafts. I think this is my favorite. I don't know if you can kind of see back here in the back. There we go, you can see where I put the smoke. That's that basil specialty mylar paper. Of course, I mean, who doesn't love that little fish bone in there? And this is my sequins mix. Let's see if I can get a good look at what's in there. Made a little pouch. Look cute on the back. And this was a die cut. I kept trying to work this in somewhere through the project, but it was a little bit too big. But I got this, I think, from Chaos Crafts too. But it says, Tonight we fly. Of course, here comes Miss Cat. Next one is the bows. Again, I put that web up here. Got the call. Oh, those are upside down. Like I put, whoever's getting this one, that bow is upside down. Anyway, it's got the cauldron and the cat, and then this one has the cats. 
And then here at the at the end, here's all my die cuts. So there's most of this is Tim Holtz. So you have the witch feet, the bat, the bats that are in here are velvet paper. And then you have that web and some um, vellum ghost and some glitter pumpkins. And my favorite in the back back here is a big giant filigree viney pumpkin. Turned out so cute. So let's flip this back around. So this back part around here, I was gonna, I had all these ideas for it and I've not made rosettes. This is my first time making these rosettes. So I was gonna just put it on the back and attach it and put all my info, but I really wanted to use this cutout. So I ended up just mounting this like a uh, an embellishment for the rosette and I figured the recipient can decorate it some more. Cause this was kind of getting to be a chunky monkey just for to fit in that pouch. And again, this is, um, well, I guess I can go off in here. These all had to be Halloween related, so I put some buttons and things. And like I said, I should have left some of these out, but I'm trying to get, I think my favorite is those cat's eyes right there. I don't know. This, I love this little container, but I just couldn't figure out how to package it. And I got the, I don't like this tape on there, but this is what it is. I'm running out of time, girls. You know how that goes. Anyway, I'll bring all these in so it's all cute and stacked so you can see them all. But again, this is was with Nicole from Bag of, Bag of Bond Crafters, and this is her Halloween swap. Lay it all out here so it's cute. Anyway, everyone have a great evening. Talk to you later. Bye.